Hey guys, today we are going to answer the question, how do I multiply positive and negative fractions and mixed numbers? So the first thing that you need to do is convert mixed numbers to improper fractions so that we can multiply across. But before you do that, cross simplify the fractions to make the numbers easier to work with if you can. Then we will follow integer rules when multiplying. Remember, you can use the Mickey Mouse to help you. For example, if you have a negative times a negative, you're left with a positive. And if you have a negative times a positive, you're left with a negative. And then we multiply straight across the fraction and just make sure you write your final answer in simplified form. So number one, I see a mixed number, so I need to convert it to an improper fraction first. So I do three times three plus one, which would be 10 over three, and then times seven eighths. Okay, now I want to cross simplify if possible. Seven and three do not have any common factors, but 10 and eight do, those are both even. So I'm gonna reduce this to a five and this one to a four. And I get five thirds times seven fourths. And now I'm gonna multiply across. Five times seven is 35 and three times four is 12. And then the last thing I need to do is convert this to a mixed number. So 12 will go into 35 two times and 35 minus 24 is 11. So 35 over 12 simplifies to two and 11 twelfths. All right, number two, I have a negative times a positive. So that means I'm gonna have a negative answer. All right, let's convert the mixed number to a fraction, or to an improper fraction. So three times one is three plus two is five. So I have negative five over three times 11 over 15. Okay, let's cross simplify. So five times, or five and 15 are both divisible by five. So five reduces to one, 15 reduces to three. And then three and 11 do not have any common factors, so they'll stay the same. So my new fractions are negative one third times 11 thirds, and I just multiply across. Negative one times 11 is negative 11, and three times three is nine. And yes, my answer is negative because I had a negative times a positive. Last thing I need to do is simplify this. So nine goes into 11 one time, and I have a remainder of two. So negative 11 ninths simplifies to negative one and two ninths. Okay, negative three times negative six and seven fifteenths. Actually, I'm gonna change both of these numbers. So I'm gonna change the negative three to a negative three over one and then I need to convert this mixed number to a improper fraction. So six times 15, I don't remember what that is. Six times five is 30. Six times one is six plus three is nine. So six times 15 is 90 and then 90 plus seven is 97. Okay, and I have a negative times a negative. So that means I'm gonna get a positive answer Okay, and before we go on, let's see if we can cross simplify at all. So one and 97 are not gonna cross simplify, but three and 15 will. The three will reduce to a one, the 15 will reduce to a five. So this ends up being negative one over one times negative 97 over five, which just becomes negative one times 97 is positive 97, and one times five is Five. And then the last thing I need to do is convert this to a mixed number. So five can go into 97 19 times. And I have a remainder of two. So I get positive 19 and two fifths. All right, number four. First of all, have a positive times a negative. So that means my final answer will be negative. And then I have two mixed numbers that I need to convert 
two improper fractions. So three times one is three plus two is five. One and two thirds changes to five thirds. And then two times four is eight plus one is nine. Those are both negative. Okay, now let's cross simplify. So five and four cannot simplify any further. They don't have any common factors, but nine and three do. Those are both divisible by three. So my new fractions are negative five over one and negative three fourths. And now I just multiply across negative five. Oh, this number was not negative right here. I don't know why I put that negative sign. Okay, five times negative three is negative 15, and then one times four is four. And then last thing I need to do is change this to a mixed number. Four can go into 15 three times, and I'm left with a remainder of three. So negative 15 over four changes to negative three and three fourths. All right, number five, I have a negative times a positive, so I'm gonna end up with a negative answer. Okay, now I am going to convert these mixed numbers into improper fractions. So five times three is 15, plus one is 16, so I get negative 16 over five. And then four times two is eight, plus three is 11. Now let's see if we can cross simplify. 16 and four have common factors of four, so that'll simplify to negative four and one. And then 11 and five do not have any common factors, so those will stay as is. So my fractions change to negative four over five and 11 over one, and now I'm going to multiply across. Negative four times one is negative 44, and five times one is five. And now I just need to convert that improper fraction to a mixed number. So five will go into 44 eight times, and then I have a remainder of four. So negative 44 over five is equivalent to negative eight and four fifths. All right, number six says find the area of the rectangle shown below. They gave us the length and the width of the rectangle and remember the area of a rectangle can be found by doing length times width. So I'm just gonna multiply these two numbers together. One and one fourth times three fourths. So first thing I'm gonna do is convert the mixed number to a improper fraction. So four times one plus one is five. So I get five fourths times three fourths. And there's no cross simplifying I can do here because five and four do not have common factors and neither do three and four. So I'm just gonna multiply across five fourths times three fourths. Five times three is 15 and four times four is 16. So the area of that rectangle is 15 over 16 inches squared. 